I'm Rebecca from Minerva and today I'm going to be showing you our top 10 indie sewing patterns and a fabulous fabric to pair with it. So first up we have got the Ogden Cami from True Bias which is this beautiful pattern. Um, it's a really wonderful simple camisole top um, with a soft V at the front and the back. Um, loose fitting and it's got um, a half lining just to under the bust. Um, it's a lovely simple pattern, it's one and a half um, circles for difficulty out of five so if you're a, a new to sewing or a beginner and you would like a, a pattern to start with this would be a really good choice for you um, and if you're slightly more advanced and you just want a nice simple quick project then this would be a really fun, fun one for you too. Um, so the fabrics that are suggested for this pattern is something like a rayon, a chalice, um, a voile even and we have selected a beautiful fabric from Lady McElroy, it's this viscous chalice um, in this beautiful floral. It's really lightweight, um, it's got a lovely cool feel to it um, and really silky, it would feel absolutely beautiful against the skin in summer um, and where it's got this lovely drape it would be so lovely around that soft V as well um, around the neck uh, and the back so that is a wonderful fabric to pair with it. It's got this wonderful sort of um, floral print on there with the dark um, navy background but also then you've got some soft pinks, beiges and whites in there as well. Um, so that is our selection for the Ogden Cami. Next up we have the Caroline Pyjamas from Closet Core Patterns. Now they say that this pattern is designed for chic lounging and I just think if that doesn't inspire you to make a pair then nothing will. Um, so it's quite a traditional pair of pyjamas. Um, you've got the elasticated waist um, and the short or long trouser and you've got long and short sleeved for the um, sh top sort of shirt um, pair of the pyjamas and then this lovely traditional collar um, and side pocket as well. So Perfect for winter, summer, any time of year, any temperature um, because you could make it in such a, a massive variety of uh, fabrics to suit the season um, and also with the long and short variations as well so it would just be perfect um, for a variety of um, you know different styles. So um, this comes in sizes 0 to 20, um, so you've got a fairly wide range of, of sizes there and the fabric that we've suggested um, to go with this is um, this lovely cotton poplin in this lovely dark background and then it's got these bright sort of Hawaiian flowers on uh, which is just fabulous and where it's a cotton poplin um, it's sort of medium weight and you can get a really nice sharp um, edge on the collar um, and the pocket as well so I think um, and also obviously being cotton it's nice and cool um, so for a pair of pyjamas it's a really um, lovely uh, sort of selection and choice of fabric there um, so that's our, our selection for the Caroline pyjama. Next up we have an absolute classic that I know loads of you love and it's the Tilly and the Buttons Clio Dungaree Dress. I've made this quite a few times myself and I absolutely love it. It's just such a fun pattern um, and quite simple and easy to make as well. Um, and also adding the clasps on the top of the dungarees is just a real reminiscent throwback, I think, to being a child as well. So that's just a really fun part of this pattern. Um, so you've got a couple of options with this, um, this pattern. You've got um, long and short, you've got variations of pockets. You could put them um, the front chest, um, on the back, on the front, um, and you've also got the option of a vent in the front um, of the dungaree dress as well, say if you were doing the longer version, um, just to help with uh, movement. Um, so with this one, um, you want to check your sizes against um, their own sizing chart, but they've got um, approximately a UK 6 to 24, so again quite a wide range of sizes for this pattern. Um, now again, you can use uh, quite a few different fabrics for this, you've got denim, gabardine, um, canvas wool and we've gone um, with my favourite choice for this type of pattern uh, which is a corduroy and we've got this wonderful fabric from uh, which is a Dashwood Studio. Um, it's a fairly um, thin corduroy um, as they come and it's just got this lovely bold pattern um, so you've got this dark dark navy background and then just this wonderful sort of floral-esque uh, pattern on there which would just make a wonderful um, version of this dress. I think all seasons as well because um, this would be perfect sort of layered up with tights in the winter but also it's not massively thick so you could easily wear this in the summer um, with bare legs or just you know and a t-shirt underneath. 
Um, so that is the Dashwood Studio um, fabric. And don't forget, everything that I'm talking about is also linked below this video. So you, if you see anything you like, you can just click. You can either save it or you can add it to your basket um, and then you've got it there ready to buy after. So that is our selection for uh, the Cleo Dungaree dress from Tilly and the Buttons. Next is another Tilly and the Buttons pattern and it's the Indigo Smock, which is this pattern here. Um, another really fun, casual, easy to wear um, outfit. It comes in a dress and a top variation and you've got a couple of different options for the design um, with your sleeves. You could either have a long straight sleeve or you can have these flouncy sleeves um, and you can have this ruffle here on the outside or you can have that tucked onto the inside. Um, so it's just a really easy to wear, casual, lightweight pattern um, so a really fun um, and simple make as well for this one as well so again if you're a beginner to sewer um, to sewing then this would be a really nice option for you um, so the fabric that we have chosen is this wonderful John Caldor Lisa crepe and again it's just really lightweight um, beautiful feeling um, nice and cool and it would have a lovely drape for this pattern so if you were doing those gathers on the outside you would get this lovely shape here um, it's sort of it's lightweight but it has got a little bit of um, weight to it so you would still get the lovely ruffles um, in this pattern as well these colors I just think are so fresh and springy as well with this lovely green and orange um, and I just think would fall really nicely in either the smock um, top version or the dress um, so that is our option uh, for the indigo smock Next we have the Adeline dress from Style Arc, which is this wonderfully um, casual, easy to wear, um, sort of smock jumper dress. Um, so it's just a, a fabulous throw over, um, there's no buttons or um, zips or fastenings, just goes straight over your head, it's got these lovely slouchy sleeves and pockets, um, just a really casual, easy to wear type of garment um, and really fun to sew as well because you've just got these lovely large pieces um, to piece together. Um, so you can do it in a couple of different length variations um, and you've got um, the options of doing sort of one fabric for your main piece and doing different pockets or different um, facings around the neck and the sleeves. Um, so it's a lovely sort of simple um, style but you could um, mix it up and make it a little bit more interesting by adding different colours or fabrics if you wanted to. Um, so this is a medium difficulty and there's two different packs um, for your sizings as well so when you buy it just keep an eye that you've ordered the right pack for the sizing um, range that you need as well. Um, so the fabric that we've suggested to go with this is this absolutely beautiful linen viscous blend from Lady McElroy. I absolutely love it. It's got these beautiful Venice street scenes. Um, you've got a couple of little cafes, houses, um, you've got the gondola there on the river, uh, on the water. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful and it's just got these really lovely soft um, sort of beigey brownie background colours and then little spots of colour on the roofs and the flowers. Um, and it's got such a lovely feel to it. Obviously where it's got the linen, you've got that really nice natural slub texture, um, but the viscous blend in it makes it really soft and gives it a lovely drape as well. Um, I mean, this fabric would be perfect for so many um, projects, but um, we've suggested it for this particular one. Um, yeah, this is a definite fa uh, favorite of mine. So you can find the link below if you want to add that to your basket now. And now we have another style arc pattern and this is the D Daisy Designer Tunic, uh, which again is just a really lovely, casual, easy um, throw on piece. Um, but what I like about this one is you could really um, dress it up and dress it down, which I love a piece that you can wear, um, you know, in a different variety of different occasions because it's so often that you just have one that is either just specifically daytime, specifically evening. So I really like this pattern because you could use it so many times um, depending on the different fabric that you use um, for loads of different uh, you know, wardrobe variations. So this particular one, you've got three quarter length sleeves. Um, you've got this uh, lovely facing on the sleeve and the neck and you've got this double uh, layer at the bottom of the tunic to make this um, symmetrical um, hemline here which uh, would just be really fancy over a pair of leggings um, or say skinny jeans or something like that 
Um, so really lovely, easy to make as well, because um, you haven't got any sort of worry about zips um, or fastenings, things like that. And you've even got um, hidden inseam pockets, which I absolutely love on a garment. Um, so this one again is a medium um, difficulty and also comes in uh, two separate size packs. So depending on the size that you're after, just make sure that you're buying the right uh, pattern range that you need. So the fabric for this one that we have suggested is this beautiful double cotton gauze um, from Japanese design in Naomi Ito. And it's absolutely beautiful, um, delicate pink. And then you've got these uh, sort of paintwork flowers and bird scenes on. Um, it's just really, really delicate um, and very feminine um, and would just be really nice and lightweight and would feel absolutely lovely in a tunic like this. Really nice against the skin and being cotton, lovely and breathable. Um, this fabric also comes in a white colourway and a, a darker blue as well. So if you love this um, style um, with this lovely paintwork sort of design on, you've also got a couple of different colour options um, which you can go and investigate. So another style art pattern that is really popular is the Ethel designer pant uh, or trouser and you can see why it's probably so um, so popular. It's this lovely balloon style shaped trouser, very relaxed casual style with elasticated waist and it's got pockets. Um, so it's got this lovely shape to the trouser. Um, the uh, hemline, it's straight, it caps off um, the, the sort of tapering of the leg at the bottom of the hem so you can wear it rolled up without creating extra folds um, in the ankle fabric if you'd like to as well. Um, it just looks so easy to wear, so comfortable, um, just a really fabulous um, design. I haven't made this yet but it's definitely on my to make list. Um, I just think a pair of these um, or maybe a couple of pairs in the wardrobe would just get so much wear. Um, so this is an easy to medium um, design uh, for pattern and again it comes in two um, sets for the sizing so you get a 4 to um, a 16 and then this is the 18 to 30 um, so just keep an eye on the sizing that you want to buy. So our suggestion fabric wise for this particular pattern is this 100% linen um, enzyme washed fabric here. Um, now being linen obviously you get that characteristic crease but it's just such a lovely natural feeling fabric and um, so cool and for a pattern such as this you can just imagine it um, around the waistline where it's elasticated just creating a really lovely shape um, and again where it folds down tapers down the leg it would just be such a lovely fabric um, to, to wear in that style. Um, so this is the denim colourway but this fabric comes in loads of other colours so if you love the idea of 100% linen um, we've got loads of colour selections for the linen fabric so go and check them out. The next we have the Melliot shirt from Deer and Doe, which is part of their botany collection. So it's this lovely casual um, shirt design. So you've got a couple of different options within this one um, pattern. So you've got um, these drop sleeves with either a short sleeved or a longer sleeve. And for the shirt, you can go with a mandarin collar or a small rounded collar um, on this version here. And again, with the pockets, I mean, you could do any variation that you like, either double, one, or none at all. Um, the fabric selections for this pattern um, are really wide varying. You could use a flannel if you were making it for colder weather, um, or you could go with something like a satin if you were making it for an occasion wear, or something lighter for summer. So the selection that we've gone with is 100% broadcloth, um, lovely design here. Um, which is one of the Minerva fabrics. So you've got this lovely dark background and then these bright tropical prints. You've got a couple of little parrots on there, um, some flowers and trees, um, really lovely bright um, colors. And being 100% cotton as well um, would just be really cool and light um, and comfortable for a shirt um, like this as well. Um, and it doesn't crease too badly, this fabric, either. So if you wanted to make it um, to be, you know, quite crisp or even workwear, then this would be a lovely selection for you.
Next we have a pattern that I've been lusting over for ages. It's the beautiful Kylo dress from Named. Um, it uh, has a couple of different variations. So you've got a dress or a jumpsuit pattern. I personally absolutely love the dress version. Um, it's long length and then it's the, the middle here. It comes out and then wraps around. So comfortable and they just look stylish on every single version that I've seen made online. They all look absolutely wonderful. Um, so you've got a couple of variations here. Like I said you've got the dress or the play suit version um, you've got no sleeves um, or long sleeves there now the fabrics that they recommend is a knit for this one so you definitely want a bit of stretch um, and there's a particular amount of stretch with which is 30 to 50 percent any more and you might end up stretching it out the weight of it will pull it down and stretch it out of shape so you really want to make sure that it's 30 to 50 percent stretch for this um, you've got quite a wide size range so you've got 4 to 28 um, in this this pattern um, and it's just wonderful I just think you know I've seen a couple of shorter versions as well it's so versatile so comfortable um, I've also seen um, some uh, maternity versions of this as well which just look absolutely gorgeous so I just think this is a pattern that you could make so many times so many variations um, it's definitely one um, to long live in your pattern collection so the fabric that we have recommended is this wonderful peacock print um, viscous jersey knit here we go and this is a 30% stretch, so it's perfect for this type of pattern. Um, it's Even though it's stretchy, you can feel that sturdiness, like it's not going to fall and stretch out of shape. Um, and I just love the bold um, design on here. I just think it's so bright and beautiful. And um, this also comes in a couple of different colorways. So if you really like the peacock print but would like a different color, then um, by all means go and have a look um, at the selection that we've got. And I'm sure there'll be one there that you like. Um, this is just really beautiful um, feel of this fabric as well. It's really silky, um, really comfortable against the skin. So that is definitely one of our top picks. And last but by no means least, we have got the Jaylee jersey t-shirt pattern for boys and men. Um, so this is an absolutely wonderful pattern pack. It's got loads of variations. So we've got um, the t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt with a crew neck. We've got a v-neck and long sleeves. We've got this double um, double jersey on the long sleeved here and then short sleeve with the v-neck as well. So you've got loads of variations in just a really nice simple t-shirt design. Now the sizing in this one, you've got 27 sizes, um, so it takes you right up from um, children, so age 2 to 13 um, for the boys, and then sh um, chest size 33 inches to 50 inches uh, for the men's. So you've got you know a massive range of sizes in there, so if you've got a couple of boys in the family that you want to make um, t-shirts for, this will cover you, um, you know, pretty much any size. Um, so a really fabulous um, selection there. Um, and just a really nice way to make um, simple basics for the wardrobe, uh, but you've got you know this situation here to make different variations with the short sleeves and the long sleeves and the layered, um, so just a really nice staple for the wardrobe. Um, now for this you obviously want a jersey fabric um, to sew with, and this is our lovely striped um, cotton jersey. It's 5% lycra, 95% cotton, um, so it's fairly sturdy, but you've got a really nice stretch in there, lovely comfortable stretch. It's really, really soft, um, and it's got a nice thickness as well to it. Now this is the anthracite um, colorway, but this stripe comes in loads and loads of different colors. Um, so by all means, if you like the striped jersey, go on and have a look um, and choose your, your color variation that you'd like, because we've got loads there. Um, so this would just make a really nice, um, simple boys' tee for the wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing our top 10 indie patterns and our suggested fabrics to go with them. If you've got any questions about anything I've mentioned, please do put your comments below and I will come back to you. Please do follow Minerva. There's a follow button just above this video and then you'll be able to see everything uh, that we're sewing, all of our projects and lots more videos like this to give you information about our products. If you haven't got a Minerva account, please do sign up. We'll be able to see your projects, you can see ours and it's just a really lovely crafting community. Thank you for watching. Bye.